Hi there and welcome in my first tutorial of the game Professional Fishing. In this tutorial I want to explain you the basics of this game when you first start it and your experience that you will have uh, by uh, yeah, the, the first level that you have here in this game. So if you start a game you will uh, open up on this screen that you will see here before you and on your left side here you, that you see your avatar, your the, the, the yeah, the person that you're playing with. At the moment it's only available in the mail and how that, uh, yeah, how it looks you can uh, change by clicking on this marker and you see this opening up and yeah, yeah you see all kinds of things that you can change. Um, I would like you to, yeah, to find out that on your own it's simple, yeah, by uh, yeah just slide the sliders and when you're satisfied just leave it there and close it so this is how you start it and if you're yeah you already see here that I'm level 14 but I have set it up now at the moment to be as level 1 so I have only uh, am using the equipment that you also have in your uh, equipment at level 1 so what I'm like uh, yeah like to do is uh, explain a little bit and first I start at the bottom here, you see all kinds of options. It will start with free fishing, if I click there then you go to the maps. And there is a fishing tournament, uh, those are available for all the people. And that the makers of the game uh, yeah, make sometimes uh, fishing tournaments for them. And also you will find out that... Um, some uh, some groups that you organizations they call fishing organizations that they also will make uh, fishing tournaments for them. Next to that is a very important one: store and equipment. Uh, behind that is the fish market. Here you click if you have actually caught fish, and if you click it, you can sell it on the fish market for a certain amount of money. Next to that is the fishing organization. I will show you that also later. The rankings, where all the rankings are available from yeah, the, the, the biggest fish you caught, uh, the most uh, weight of the fish, and it is an all time uh, ranking. The wiki fish will explain you different kinds uh, of fish and what they do, and of course the exit button to leave the program. But first, I want to go to the store and equipment. If you click on that, it will start with the store, just the in-game store. It uh, is always opening up on the premium page, where you can uh, yeah, here uh, click on if you like to actually use real money to uh, buy you a FIP status. It is, uh, has, uh, has certain uh, bonuses, and uh, yeah, if you want an interest there for it, you can read it all here. What what your bonus you will have. As you will notice, I am not a, uh, do not have a FIP status. I'm uh, using it free for all, so, so I'm leaving that behind. That here on the left uh, top side, I start a premium. You have the rods. Those are the, the rods that are available now. As you see, I can buy many rods because of my level. But you will see if you click it on level one, you have many restrictions, and I think there is only one rod available. But uh, I leave it there. Uh, then next to it uh, are the reels that you can use, the lines that you can use. They are very important because lines um, uh, make it uh, yeah, possible to reel in uh, better lines, to reel in the fish much sooner and much faster. Against that uh, is the lures that you can use, and that is uh, there are now because there are two options of uh, fishing. One is using this next one, is the floats. Uh, that is actually starting uh, the game. You use a float uh, and you see the float going down. And then you will try to catch the fish who is uh, pulling it down. And after that you have also the option to buy a lure. A lure will uh, give you the option to start the spinning uh, game. And spinning is uh, actually throwing in the lure in the water and then you reel it in uh, uh, at a certain speed that will attract uh, uh, mostly predators uh, to your uh, yeah, to your lure and you try to catch them but we will start the game as uh, basic in, with, with floats because you don't have any money or little money to spend uh, behind that is the hooks here you can buy uh, bigger hooks 
and uh, the bigger the hook, the bigger the fish. That's also something that is uh, uh, the way it is in this game. And uh, behind that is are the baits. The baits are the different kind of baits that you put on the hook, so they're always usable with a float, not with the lures. Yep, you have the lures and the baits with the hooks. Uh, behind that we have ground bait. But ground bait is something that you need to uh, get on the spot where the fish is uh, roaming around. And you will do that, if I uh, explain it later, with a catapult. A catapult is something that is below the option other. If you go to other, start with a live net, but you see also here catapults. It is, these are the things that you can use to actually uh, shoot the ground bait on the spot that you want the ground bait to be. Ground bait is something that will attract the, the, the fish, a certain kind of species of fish, to the spot where you want to actually fish. And that's something that you can start uh, from level one. You uh, will, yeah, you can start it later on. But if I go uh, to the left to the nets, nets, these are the different kind of light nets. This is the first net that you will have. And I will show you uh, in the equipment later that uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the most important thing to actually sell the fish that you will caught. If we go to the right, those are the bags. The bags will make it possible uh, that you can have more rods than just one, because you start as a basic as with one rod, and you can only get an, uh, a second rod if you go here on the right and buy this rod uh, space with 390 uh, 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 coins then you can actually uh, um, yeah, get more rods than just one because it gives uh, spots to if you go uh, left side here you see what is available rods capacity uh, plus three so then you have your basic rod you can never get uh, lost uh, after the basic rods but you can then have two others uh, what also is a good thing, if you have enough money, you can buy more, buy more from these bags. So you can then have six rods, for example. So then we need that, uh, that is the catapults. Then we have sonar. Sonar is useful when you have later on a boat. So you can get on the water and then the sonar will check where the fish is actually hiding. Behind this is the phones. And the phones, yeah. You can use for uh, you have only one phone with you, and it will give you option with uh, messages sending to other players. Behind that is uh, the, the vehicles. Vehicles are in use to uh, get faster and uh, on the spot that you want to go to. They are very uh, expensive, if you so as you see. That same counts for the boats. The boats are. Uh, yeah, used to get uh, in the water and to get to islands or something like that. You have them always in two kinds. One is the rowboat and the second is the, the rowboat with the option of a, mo a motor uh, in, the, in the back. So there are many uh, boats here and they come very uh, expensive also. And later on you have also uh, level restrictions. So these are uh, the things that you can get in the store. But what I want you to show now is uh, here at the top. At the top you see equipment and storage. If you click on that, uh, this is the actually thing that you have with you. If I click on rods, uh, I want to uh, uh, the left side is the equipment. This is what you bring with you. This is always what you have on you, on person. This is what you're going uh, to bring with you when you go here on the left to the map. Everything on the right side is the storage. As you see, I have, I have many things on the storage, but I've put all the things that I've normally with me in the storage. So I want this is what this you see as level one. And if you go to real, this is the reel that you're having. And this is the line that you're using. And the line strength is here is uh, only 10 millimeters. So it's a very cheap, uh, very low uh, uh, line. And next to that are the lures. You don't start with lures, so I have made it empty. You start with basic float. You always have this float with you. It is also not uh, going down anything. If you see on the right side, I've here bought other floats, and you see already some that there, this ring will slowly go down everything every time you're using this. So this green ring 
will turn to yellow, then orange, then red, and it will all, uh, yeah, in the end, it will break. So this is how you uh, have to buy new equipment every time if you're using higher floats than the basic floats. This is the basic ring. It will never turn, uh, yeah, burn down. The others uh, will burn down uh, later on. This is the bait with you that you have. You have um, infinite uh, bread with you, so you can always go back to bread. That's the one that you're using here. You will see on the right side. I have here dough, and they, these are uh, 30 times. So every time I'm uh, catching a fish with this kind of bait, it will lower one down. So you see here, uh, you see it 26, uh, 25, 15. So there's all kinds of bait that I have uh, with me, but uh, not in my equipment because equipment is the basic bait. Ground bait you don't start with. And all the things, this is very important. This is the starting net. Um, I want to show uh, one th thing back. If you go to the rods, you, s you don't sa see here a sell button. Same is for the reel, same is for the line, same is for the float. You can't sell this basic float. You can't sell the basic uh, hooks. Uh, you can't sell the basic bait. But if you go to other, you can sell indeed the basic net. If you do this, you will lose the option to uh, catch, uh, uh, yeah, you can catch fish, but you don't have the option anymore to put it in a net. And if you see, here is the net 245, but if you go to the store and you see here the basic net is 490. So if you sell it for 245, you can never buy it back. So, uh, I have a friend uh, yesterday who sold uh, by accident his basic net and he couldn't uh, yeah, sell anymore. So, don't click on the sell button here. Never do it. We have already uh, uh, brought it towards the makers of the game that they will change it and that they will remove this sell button. So, I hope they will uh, do it. So, now I've explained, explained the, the equipment. And what I want to do now is go to free fishing. And if I click on free fishing, you will see all here below the different map that you go, can go to. The first is called Silver Forest below in the left below the screen. And Silver Forest is the level one map. Yeah, uh, next to it is the Wild Plains, that's a level five uh, map. And next to it is Enchanted River is level 10. And after that is 25 and 40. You, you can only go there if you have the proper level. So, first we want to go to the Silver Forest. That's the only map that is available for you for level 1. Then on the right uh, screen here, you see a little move here telling you how it looks like. Beneath that is 1 and then the room and then 2 numbers. The first number is how many players are actually in the room. The second number is the maximum number that can be in the room. So. Uh, here you think that there's only one room, but if you click the uh, down arrow, you see here there are many rooms. And you can pull the slide all the way down. So you see there are always 100 rooms available. And yeah, you can choose to start uh, with all the players that are in the side. The, the, the good thing of other players is that you can talk with them, chat with them. And they can give you good information about uh, where to uh, set up your rig and whether you uh, start uh, fishing. But in the yeah, for the tutorial, I want to uh, go to an empty room, so like uh, 50, and you click on play. Now, now we go actually to the the real map with our equipment, and as you, as you see, it's very dark. Because uh, there's a whole day, daylight and night time, and in the night you don't have uh, any uh, nothing to see. So you click on the letter L. If you click on L, you uh, this is the lamp, so you can actually see around you. And I will also uh, show you the map. The map is uh, with the letter M. With M, we see here the map. This is the map uh, for uh, where you can go to and, uh, and yeah, where I am all uh, actually am at the moment. I'm at uh, the yellow arrow and I'm already at a certain spot that I'm sure that I will catch fish. 
Uh, it's for you, of course, uh, free to explore the whole uh, map. And but if you notice where I am now, uh, you will see that it's a very good spot to catch fish. Uh, maybe not with the, the manner that I'm using now. It's float fishing now at the moment. But if I explain later the, the how to spin uh, spinning, then you will see that there is this is a very good spot for spinning especially with a kind of lure that I will also explain to you. But for now, for the first time that you're going to experience here, the game is with floating. So I will close the map with M. Then uh, you see here that we have the rot in our hands with the, the bread. And we go slowly to the... If you go uh, forward with the letter W, you go slowly forward. But if you click on the shift button, at the same time, you see that you're starting to run a bit. So we go now here to the water, not not too far. Far. If you go in too far, you see in the top on the left. So, so you see that we are standing on the water. If we go further, uh, then uh, yeah, you will return to the place that you will start. And yeah, the, the starting point that I have made is with the tent. The tent is the spot where you can uh, go. Uh, if you uh, start the game, uh, the tent is uh, usable for us, uh, yeah, for a place to uh, where you want to fish every time again. And you can put down the tent everywhere on the screen. If you click on the letter T, that I'm doing now, you see that I put down the tent. So if I now ran in, uh, walk into the water for accident, then I will return by the tent. So I would advise you that uh, you go to uh, a place when you want to fish, put down a tent. So uh, if by accident you uh, walk into the water too far, you will uh, return to the place where you start. And that is in this time the tent. <coughs> okay. It is uh, very easy to fish. Um, there are two things very, uh, very important. And this, that is uh, on the right screen. Uh, um, first, I want to hold down the control key, the control key that make my mouse uh, arrow available. With the mouse arrow now I can click on different kinds of things, I will show you. But here on the right below screen you will see a circle. A circle. Oh, in the circle you see the first top amount is how far you will cast and the bottom amount in meters is uh, how, far, how deep the, the hook will go with the bait uh, in the water. Below that is uh, a counter 100%. 100% is how, uh, uh, how, much the, uh, how strong you will have to pull on the line and you can lower it this 100% with the mouse scroll button. If I go down, as I can do it all down to zero and then up to 100. It's start by default with 100. Uh, always lower it down, that's the first thing that you do, to 90. Because if you stick it on 100 and you will get uh, a big fish, it will surely break your line. So put down it on 100. Up top of that, you see all around also here a round uh, scale with blocks that you can lower down with the page down and page up button if you uh, if you're using now page down it will lower down uh, and the circle uh, will uh, empty if i use page up it will uh, yeah, be filled again this is the way that you build tension on the line and uh, this is how you um, reel in the speed will the reeling in this is very important when you start spinning and you uh, 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 catch a lure out then if you lower it down with page down then the slower you will reel in the lure but that will ex be explained later by me at the moment we only have to uh, do is uh, cast in the, the line and that's what i'm doing now just click the left mouse button you see here on the right side here an example about for the float and here is the actually the float uh, in the water now you will notice down that when a uh, uh, fish is attempting to bite it will uh, bring down the float underneath, underneath the water and that will be the right time to click on the right right mouse button mouse button and with that you will actually strike the fish 
And in the meantime, click on the left mouse button to reel in the fish. So, okay, yes, uh, that was a miss. Okay, throw it in again with the left mouse button. And when this is pulled down, click on the right mouse button. And in that way, you can actually ca catch the fish. Fishing is always about uh, waiting. Yes. Okay, you see on the right, uh, I will do uh, nothing at the moment, but you'll see here on the right, below there, that the fish will pull the, on my float. And this also, you see here, I caught this silver bream. It's a nice one. And yeah, to actually try to sell it, you have put down, you have to pull down the fishing net. The fishing net you can pull down at the water with the letter N. I can do that right now. It is then a little bit closer to it. Just uh, aim with the, the round the here around uh, the net, and now you just uh, click on the left mouse button to actually get it in the net. So. And you see here on the right that I have one fish in the net. If I hold down the control button, click on it, you see a little, uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, the, the, what is inside the net. This is the fish, the rim. You can uh, click on it. And you can also get it actually out, so you can uh, get uh, other fish in. So, and you see also here that is uh, 0 for, for 84 kilograms is the fish. And a maximum of eight kilograms. So if I have the full net, I can go and uh, empty it with uh, by selling all the contents. So just uh, let go of the control button. You see also on the right side if you hold the control button and go there. I cannot click these things uh, at the moment because they are not available. But on the left side, you have here the rods. If you click on the rods. You see all the rods here down below that are available. If I had a second rod, I could uh, click on it and then throw it on the, the rod that I'm holding. And then it will change to the rod that I uh, have with me. Same uh, counts for the reel. This is the reel. This is the line that is available. If I click on it, you see that if you click, I have an, another line, I can drag it to here and let go of it. This is the float that I'm holding. This is the hook that I'm holding. And this is the bait. If I have more kinds of baits, uh, or like a lure, I can uh, go down here and there's a circle, uh, for example, a lure. I can drag it over this one so it will change to the lure. So this is how you change uh, equipment. Now we now have one uh, fish. I will try to attempt to another one. And then I will show you how to sell it. Um, you see now I'm using bread as an uh, as bait, but uh, if you buy, for example, worms uh, are very good for uh, for perch and for other uh, for roaches and for uh, other kinds of uh, fish, and they will um, give you much sooner uh, a fish around your float. So bread is just the most simple bait that is around, and it's not the best bait, as you will find out. But in the, uh, at first, it's the only thing that you have available to actually catch fish. And by catching fish and selling them, that's the only option to get some money in game. And with the money in game, you can buy, for example, new baits, uh, a new floater, or, like I said, a lure to attempt the spinning uh, option. You see all the rimples around my floater. Those uh, that, that are examples that there is a fish around. So try to catch, uh, to throw your float around these uh, rimples, these circles in the water. That is always an uh, indicator that there is fish there below. Sometimes you see them uh, spring above the water. Just uh, or listen to the sound that they make. Sometimes just try to uh, bring the float as as, uh, as close to the circles.
And if you see uh, that I'm dragging it down, click the right mouse, mouse, mouse button as soon as possible, and then uh, also the left mouse button to reel it in. What I'm doing most of the time is uh, check the right side of the screen. I'm looking to this thing, to this floater, because that is the best uh, uh, available option to see. Actually, it drags it, uh, it down, because if you throw in much farther the float, it is very little uh, to see. Maybe also uh, not too good in the, in the dark. And the right float, this one is always available and good to see. For example, if I turn down the light, you see almost nothing, but you see the float on the right side is still available. <laughs> they don't. Uh, they don't want to. Don't, don't want to have the breath at the moment. It seems. So I'm led it uh, for what it is, this. Okay, what I'm doing now is click on the escape button. If I click on escape, I have an option to uh, to leave the location. I have to click on yes. Then I go to the main screen again. The main screen, you have an option on the lower side to go to the fish market. I click on that. And then you see, we'll see the fish that we caught. The fish that we caught is the silver beam. Here on the right side, you, uh, we see only one fish. It's the fish that we caught. If we have get more fishes, uh, then below it, it will say sell all. So you can sell them all at once. But at the moment, we have only uh, this fish that is uh, available. And uh, click on sell button, and it will be sold. So we now uh, have five more coins to spend on the market. Um, in the store, I mean, if you click on the store, what I... Uh, Wants you to do is um, uh, best buy uh, as soon as possible with, with baits. The option, this one, is the very cheap one. It's, uh, it's with only five coins. It's the red worm. Red worm is very cheap. Buy that one, and for this one above is uh, for carp. Is the corn. Corn and the red worm are the best options for you to uh, use in. Uh, yeah, so far as you are in the game now, to reel in uh, a good m amount of uh, fish with the floats. Um, what I'm doing in now is, I have them because I have them also already. I just uh, change them because if you buy them, it will be uh, uh, go into your storage. Then you have to go to equipment and storage. Then you have to actually transfer the worms for example to your equipment you can do that a couple of times in the beginning you only have four options like uh, this at the moment so this is what you have in now so if you go back to the well, to the map that we were <coughs> you will see that we come again with in reach of the tent Turn on your lights, and first, every time that I'm going to the map, always turn down the 100% to 90. That's the first thing you do, because if you forget that, and you will surely forget it one time, and then you will reel in a big fish, and it will break, and then you are very disappointed, because you will lose... Uh, uh, a couple of meters of uh, line if you have a line uh, board and it's, it's very disappointing it's always turned down to 90 then go to the water first thing what I do is always put in the net for the first time because that you will use to uh, actually put the fish in now on the left side of the screen you see that we have still bait of bread if I click on it then you see now more options you can put on the corn I'm holding the left mouse button, I can drag it down to the bread, and you see it's now yellow, if I put hold it above it, it will turn green, if I let go of the left mouse button, it will actually change into corn. Now, I want to use now the red worms, I do the same with the worm, because at uh, night time the...